us. The speech is seven to nine minutes, and it is called Overwhelming Beauty. Would you all please join me in welcoming Heidi Kahn. Hello, everybody. I have uh, a full circle that, that I would like to connect with you all today with regard to the last time that we were to have met, which was the talent contest, which I skipped over in the ever-widening circle of life that I feel this is, this is the, the realm upon which I operate, at the very least. This is the earth. And my matrix is this earth as well as a cosmic perspective. So my view is, is truly of the felt realm. My point is, is that I am perfection on the cusp. I march to the beat of my own drum. I am grateful. I feel symmetry of life, and that is to say that I feel the black and white, black and white of, of everything that exists, if that can be imagined, but it is so. It is a big job. But it is one that I was born to do, as I remember being in the womb, which is a black and white existence, because it is beyond the realm of consciousness, and it is totally felt as love, and it is as love that brings us here. So it is as love that I'm referring to as being overwhelmed by the beauty of. The talent contest was a theme of the beach and of cute things with regard to the beach that I understood. And I was to participate in this and express the beauty that I felt being called by the beauty of the beach as was put forth. What came up was an entire repertoire of love throughout my whole life, going very pointedly to why I'm in Toastmasters in the first place, which was in large part due to Dionne Warwick, thanks to Dionne Warwick and her song, Here I Am, Don't Let Me Go a Single Day Without Your Love, You'll Always Be the One That I'm, One Thing I'm Certain Of, Here I Am, Here I'll Always Stay. This was a song that I loved with all my heart when I was a little kid, and I would run outside to play going, Here I Am, I'm Back, to dodgeball games. The point of this is, is that I would do that often enough and be proud of how good I was at the game that one time when I went back into the house to use the bathroom, I came back and here I am, but they had all run away. <laughs> this took me by surprise. I was very, very sad. I went and made myself for solace a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and one of the neighbor girls came up to me and said that they hadn't liked the way I had been. This was the first instance of me having to look back on myself with self-conscious intent, we'd look at how I had been, and I had not been aware of how I had been, and so I was ever more cautious after that. That was the first tamping down of my nature. That goes to the point of it be so, being so overwhelming that you were all so accepting of me that you wanted me to play for you at the talent contest. That was one thing that was quite overwhelming that I had to reckon with that memory. The other one was the spelling bee that I was before the whole class. At that time, I had no shyness, really. I would get up in front of the, the class and speak in front of a group of people. But during the spelling bee, it was the seventh or eighth grade, I was the last two people in our portion of the contest that was leading up to the state. I was the last two people. Guess what the word was that they gave me? It was loose, loose. Well, guess how I spelled it? And my anticipation and nervousness of, of winning, I said L-O-S-E. And I could not believe that I had done that to myself. I was the one that did that to me. Nobody else did that. I did that. The humiliation was total and complete because I had studied so, so dutifully and so hopefully with my sister. My mother knew about it. She loved words. Well, I could do nothing but be so hopeful that my mother could comfort me as I rode the bus back home. But when I entered the house, into the doorway, and there's my mother sitting there in the chair. She did not even acknowledge my presence when I walked in the door. For some reason, she did not even look up at me. So I was crushed. I was just crushed. My heart was broken. Such humiliation. So sad. So those two things were brought up by my 
invitation to participate and the, and the, the encouragement. So that is the black and white that I was aware of at that time. The beach, and my mother was so beautiful on the beach when I remembered her on the beach. So this symmetry brings me back full circle to acknowledging the beauty that my mother was, though she was not able to speak up at that moment. That, that was something she felt herself so deeply, my victory and my defeat, I think, that she could not respond. But the beauty of her was such that I, that is why I am even aware of these totalities in the first place. And so in homage to my mother, in the full symmetry of this, and in the declaration of my independence, from all opinion, being swayed by any opinion other than my own. Today I voted, by the way, I voted my, my uh, view. And in truth, it was President Obama, Barack Obama, who I know very well as a human being, for some reason, he's from Hawaii, he's lived in Hawaii, and there are connectivities that lead me to this uh, understanding of this man, and therefore understanding perhaps the things that, that he chooses to do, me not necessarily even agreeing with all of them, but as a human being, I understand where he comes from. But this is not a political speech, this is just an homage to Hawaii and my mother, so I will be singing this song for you, in memory of Lovely through the hands, graceful as the birds in ocean, gliding like the gulls or the ocean. Lovely through the hands, kulimanani e. Lovely through the hands, telling of the wind in the pond.